Each year, City Council must approve a budget. Can you please tell us how you would prioritize the budget dollars and how they're allocated? So, going through any budget process, similar to what I do on a regular basis in my professional career, you know, it, we have to look at the core functions of a city, of an organization. What does it absolutely need to function and to be successful um, and to maintain the level and the quality of life that its residents have come to, uh, come to expect? And so, Many of the dollars and budgets that take place in the city are already dedicated. And so much of the discretionary, more spending is um, really around our public safety. Um, and so that is a cornerstone of this community. And I will tell you that it's a priority for me. Um, it's also a priority to make sure that we maintain the good infrastructure in the city as we continue to grow. It's been alluded to before that we've grown outwards quite a bit, but it's important that we don't neglect the core of the city and that we don't neglect investing resources so that we can continue to keep the core of the city uh, vibrant and successful as well. Um, and so as we go through a budgeting process, those will be some of my priorities. Also working with all the department heads to make sure that the departments have what they need to be successful moving forward. I've been involved in the budget process, not only in the city of Clovis, but when I was the chief of police in Kingsburg and in Carlier. Clovis has a $210 million budget, and of the discretionary funds, which are the funds that we, that we can allocate or not allocate, 72% of those funds go to public safety. That is our biggest priority in our town, and it needs to continue to be priority. But we also have infrastructure issues that we have to deal with. We have to make sure that we make sure our roads are up to speed, that everything is uh, clean, our parks are maintained, and a part of the bu budget process, we may have to, as a council, ask questions about the priorities of the departments when they come to us with their budget proposals. And there may come a time where we have to send it back and say, this is not meeting what we want because we have to deal with what you want. Thank you, Paul. Well, money sort of paves the way for our, our quality of life. And so we have to use our dollars wisely. We have to use our dollars in a way in which we will be proud and say, yes, that is a necessary expenditure. What we value here are safe streets. And so safety is important. We have to allocate the dollars to keep the city safe. Because if it's no longer safe, then all the other services don't really matter. But at the same time, we must hold our safety service departments to a standard in which they must keep improving and or make use of those dollars wisely so that way we can also continue to have parks, continue to have trails, continue to have programs that serve our seniors, continue to do things in the community with the extra dollars. And so as long as we have an open dialogue that goes back from department heads to our, our council, I think we can always work out where these dollars can go in seasons where the budgets are tight. Thank you. Lynn? My general outlook on life is the glass is half full, so I tend to operate from an expanding pie rather over a horizontal of physical events. So that's generally how I start this uh, thinking. But two budget priorities. One is safety. As I've often said, if we're not safe, really nothing else matters. And safety is broad. It's police, fire, but it's clean parks and no graffiti. The things, again, that make Clovis, Clovis. But the second thing is investing in the future. During the economic downturn, you saw Clovis continue to invest in infrastructure and parks and buy land for future development. That is essential. When cities stop growing and thinking about the future, you just sort of churn where you are. So I think in budget times, good or bad, safety priority is number one, and future investment is always number 